What's up everyone, it's your boy. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Phantom Knights, baby, let's go! I know everyone loves Pendulum, so do I. It's the best deck, but what about the decks that no one talks about? Bro, Phantom Knights need some love too. Do you guys know what the new Phantom Knight cards do? They are insane. So you guys ready for this video? Smash the subscribe button! We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, so smash the subscribe button. Don't forget, sign up on Patreon as well, because every single YouTube video, I post a supplemental video on Patreon. So make sure to check it out as well. Lastly, check out TroopGaming.com for the best play matches in the game. Got one for $30 for the next few weeks. And with that being said, it's time to bring Dante back to life. It's not even in the extra deck, but that's okay. Because right through PK time, baby. Let's go. Rank 3 BAPK is back. I'm going to showcase to you guys my take on this the new Rank 3 BAPK deck. This deck could be played in many different ways. I think the version I'm going to show you guys with a bunch of extenders is extremely powerful thanks to being able to put up a Nibiru Negate before you actually go into your combo. Now, in this video, I'm going to showcase you guys the full combo tutorial that plays with Nibiru easily and also the deck profile. If you guys want to see duels with this deck against uh, you know meta decks, Check out my Patreon. Every single YouTube video moving forward, I'll be showcasing duels on my Patreon of the specific deck I'm talking about. Anyways, let's go on to the video. So over here, uh, the whole game plan is you want to put up a boozling before you actually go into your combo. Now this deck puts up an insane board, but it dies to one Nibiru. We're gonna Foolish uh, the Cloak. We're not gonna activate the effect of Torn Skills just yet. We're gonna Scale, send that, send that, and we're gonna Special the Boots. The idea here is to set up a boozling and then you go into your Cherubini at ease. There's another way you can Appalooza as well, but the Appalooza, uh, the Nibiru will hurt uh, if you Appalooza. The, the, another way to do it without the Bamboozling, if you don't have the extenders, it's a Levier here, Special Cloak, and then Appalooza with Cloak, Levier, and uh, the Cherubini. But the issue with that is that they can Nibiru you uh, on the Cloak Summon or on the Levier Summon, which will be better for them, and then you, you, you kind of fuck. Uh, so that, that's the whole idea there. You want to make sure you're always protected. So the idea here is you always want to set up your rank 3 uh, Phantom Knight right here with the Bamboozling like this. So Bamboozling protects and now what Phantom Knight, uh, Rusty Effect will pop the Phantom Knight to special these two out. And then you make them, they're both level 4. And then with these level 4s you go into, uh, you go into Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. And then you set the new rank up spell which turns this card into an absolutely busted card. Unfortunately we didn't have access to one more card. We could have made the Levier and the Cherubini a level four, uh, a link four Appaloosa, but at that point it's actually too many negates, and it would actually be better to keep both these cards for a follow up because follow ups are extremely important. Uh, if you're in any deck that any combo deck right now cannot play through this one card alone, this one card does three negates by itself, and on top even specials you more cards for follow up. And then when it specials, so this against your opponent, if you're playing a combo deck, you're going to have Rusty to pop a card, you're going to have Dark Rookie Mech to pop a card, you're going to have Bamboozling to negate, and you're going to have Fogblade to negate. So that's one, two, three, four. This is three negates on its own, Dark Rookie, because it's not once per turn. And then this is five, and then it's six. So you have six interruptions against your opponent, and then your opponent, no chance is going to stop that six interruptions. You're going to destroy them with the six interruptions. And then after those six interruptions, you have a Cherubini effect, you have a Levier effect, you have... A rusty effect and then you have a stacked graveyard a level three phantom knights and then you have like just nothing your opponent can do at that point they auto lose you link everything away into appalooza and then you just destroy them on your turn so the the idea here is that this has an incredibly good matchup against combo decks but against control uh, let's say you're playing a trap deck that doesn't care about monster effects you don't have any negates for that so for that when you play, play those decks you put up a different board and you just go rusty control with phantom knight control and you still destroy them because inherently this deck's follow-up is insane every single turn you get all these pks every single turn so the follow-up just destroys these random trap decks but the board itself doesn't stop the trap uh decks anyways so i'm gonna show you guys right now the deck profile of this deck this is the deck profile and the idea behind it is that game one uh if you guys see all these extenders infinity extenders and the pks itself is what i realized is if you draw one extender and one pk card you have the full combo if you draw two extenders and one pk card you end up full combo with bamboozling so this deck's insane how it, how it does this you want to open your starter though tour guide and torn scales are the two best starters in the deck you can also open cloak and an extender and it's also very good uh the idea behind no hand traps is the hand traps absolutely suck right now 
I'd rather side it to board wipes. If you guys see how many board wipes you're playing right here. So opposed side deck when you face a combo deck, uh, you have so many outs here. Against combo decks, you just side literally all of these outs. So you side all these 12 outs against combo in conjunction with your already eight outs here with Droplet and Poly. And with the exception of Dragon Link or Poly is not very good game one. Game one, you're gonna have to take the L against Dragon Link, 100%. But uh, with Super Poly, uh, the idea behind it is that Poly and Droplet discard all your Phantom Knight cards and your Phantom Knight cards, as well as as well as your uh, Jackalope and Sukunoko. That is, you're playing three, six, you're playing 15 cards that get effects and your Fog Blades, you're playing 19 and your Wing has 19 cards that get effects when they go to the graveyard from your hand. So Poly and Droplet become extra powerful in this, especially in the grind game as well, where they just sit there. Uh, the idea as well is post side deck, you just side in all these 13, as well as these six, so then you have 19 cards that straight up destroy combo decks, like 19 of them, draw two and you out the whole board. So that's the whole idea behind these. And then after you're at the board, you put up, you control with the rank three. So you play triple tour guide, triple torn scales, triple cloak, triple ragged gloves, triple boots, and one saying greaves. This one's, in my opinion, the worst one, but it's still good. One is, is the only one you need to play. Uh, you can play two or three if you want to, but I think I have found the most success with one. One jack, one souk, triple kekmusha knight. It protects your target from getting gamma or ash. One graph, one sir. A lot of builds are playing double graph, double sir, because it just came back to two. But I feel that the burning abyss card is brick. Uh, the only way I play these, if I hard draw a graph or a sir, I do not use Cherubini to send one of these. Cherubini sending a Phantom Knight is the same level of plus as uh, this way. It's literally the same plus. So what I would rather do it would be uh, use graph or sir in my hand as its own effect to special summon. So in that situation, I would use graph to special summon under the under the cherubini and under that'll give me a free monster uh, i don't need graphs effect but it'll give me a free level three extender so graph and sir are extenders as well if you hard draw you just don't use cherubini to send god for sir they just become extenders at that point and then i also play double wielder uh one tracker and one itali the fact that i just need more level three extenders to, to put up the bamboozling i'm very scared of the nibiru you have to respect nibiru and valor and stuff like that also a cool thing with uh, wielder is by playing coral dragon you can now have a 2400 attack monster uh, that you can just destroy any monster when it's synchro summoned. So Coral Dragon will not only destroy Coral Dragon will not only destroy one monster by by the effect of Wielder, but also you'll be able to discard a PK card to continue playing and pop even more cards. So it helps you extend even more. Also by the one Rota, the one Foolish, the Triple Poly, Triple Drop. You try to play as many cards as discard because they're free. You go, they're completely free. Uh, this card allows you to put up the uh, three negate guy. One wing is important because it gives you another extender. Fog blades very important, obviously. And then you play these thirteen that just break boards without wasting your normal summon. Reboot and duster, so you have eight cards against back row that just destroy them. And one called by. Uh, now the extra deck you got one cherubini, one phantom knight, rusty. You don't need two cherubini. Uh, once you use the first one, you don't link summon after that. And the one appaloosa, the appaloosa is just there to clear up your board. And then uh, OTK uh, turn number two. Because uh, Bamboozling will negate Nibiru turn 1, Apples will negate Nibiru turn 2. That's the idea behind it. Love you to recycle your stuff and get free monsters. Double break sword is extremely important. You want as many XY, Dark XYZs as possible to trigger Rusty's effect. Uh, dark Rebellion XYZ puts up the Dark Rakeem XYZ. It's very important. Then to, to OTK, you got Raiders Knight and Arc Rebellion XYZ, which OTK is like crazy. Then you got uh, one Zeus, which I think is kind of mandatory in a deck that plays a bunch of XYZs. Very good. And then you play one Starring Venom and you play one Mud Dragon. This allows Poly to be used a lot more often. And again, I'm going to mention this one more time that yes, Poly is bad against Buster Lock, but Poly is fantastic against literally every other deck. So Poly is just too good, I think. And with everyone playing right now, uh, everyone playing uh, different type of decks like uh, the VFD, uh, VFD decks and uh, the, uh, the Virtual World deck, everyone playing Zodiacs. These cards are actually very good against... Uh, uh, or Droplets is extremely good against Zodiac, I feel, the fact that it's so, it's a quick play spell, so it can work out very well for you. Yes, Zeus can pop it, but if you know you're playing against Zeus, you let them uh, clear it, and then you just drop it on uh, your turn, or something along those lines, or Poly, whenever you want to. Uh, you can also Fog Blade, it's really cool, you Fog Blade against uh, the Zeus, so he doesn't actually attack, so he's not actually, like, you know, he, he's not allowed to attack, uh, so he can't even drop a Zeus. Uh, so it's, it's cool, and yeah, then the Coral Dragon, as I mentioned, is very important for your three ways into the tuners that allow you to not only uh, pop a card with uh, the effective wielder, but also pop a card with Coral Dragon and get the effective Coral Dragon to draw one 
and the fact the core dragon when you discard to search uh, use the PK cards. Anyways, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys love PKs and want to check out more duels of this against meta decks, check out my Patreon where I upload different meta decks uh, against this deck. Also, if you guys want any discounts on Yu-Gi-Oh cards and mats, go check out down below in the link. Use them while they last. They're only going to be there for a little bit. And lastly, if you guys want uh, pendulum training, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, just $20, $30 on PayPal, or one-on-one -on -one coaching on Discord for two hours, so check it out. And lastly, check out tripgaming.com for the coolest play mats in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!